The wait is almost over. The new Portillo's is almost complete. And yesterday we got a sneak peek inside. This will be the first Iowa location for the popular chain and it will open its doors this June. Oh, yeah, developers <laughs> gave a tour of the 9,000 square foot restaurant on 53rd Street. It's expected to seat around 200 people and includes a drive through and outdoor patio. Local forest Kelly Bowles takes us inside. It's a Chicago staple with a Quad Cities twist. Thank you, enjoy. The wait is almost over for Quad Cityans excited to get a taste of the popular restaurant, Portillo's. <laughs> Soon neighbors will have a chance to try everything from the one of a kind chocolate cake to their trademark Italian beef. Thank you so much. Breaking ground almost a year ago, company spokesperson Jeff Deppie says choosing the Quad Cities was easy. The community's been wanting us here for a long time. So much so that there's even a Facebook page neighbors created calling for Portillo's here at home. Today, that page has more than 16,000 followers. There's already the recognition that we would have to fight for anywhere else, so it was a no-brainer for us. The community wanted us, and we we're already looking at it, so it was a no-brainer. But some are not on board. Dolores Angerer is one of several neighbors who filed a lawsuit against the city back in September. The street is falling apart and there's much more traffic even though they said there would not be. Since the beginning, some of the residents surrounding the new development have raised concerns about traffic, flooding and the rezoning process. We, they have to do something. We can't get all that traffic. This afternoon, water could be seen running down the residential street behind the new restaurant. What happens before is it runs down that ditch and then it crosses the street. Deppie claims the company has heard neighbors' concerns and has found solutions. I think the turn lane is going to help out a lot. The water flow, from what I understand, everything underneath us is pretty solid um, because when we did dig out, we do understand that there were some water issues, but from what I understand, it's been taken care of. And hopes once people get a taste of this Davenport Portillo's, they'll be ready for more. If, if it does well, you're going to see more out here, there's no doubt. Kelly Bowles, Local 4 News. And the parties named in that lawsuit are expected to appear in court for a trial in July. Meanwhile, Portillo's is still accepting applications for more than 150 employees. We'll have more information on how you can apply at ourquadcities.com. And boy, Ooh, oh boy, here we go. A well, couple the, months left and uh, <laughs> then we'll be rolling in the Italian beef. All the Italian beef oh. you can eat. I might need to apply. Oh, oh let me tell you. This, this place is amazing. I've, 